another uh, institution you critique is the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. But, but so, so tell us about that. So the Chamber of Commerce is it's a really interesting story how it's evolved over the last 30 years or so. Um, and both because it's become more powerful um, and because it's become a much more um, vigorous opponent of the mixed economy. Um, it, so uh, it's grown dramatically over the last 25 or 30 years. Uh, it raises much more money from the very largest companies than it used to has moved into a much closer alliance with the Republican Party. It used to be much more bi bipartisan in its orientations, and actually a decisive moment in the, the history of the chamber was when the, the then leader of the, of the chamber in 1993 uh, actually came very close to sort of having an agreement with the Clinton administration about health care reform, uh, and there was a rebellion within the ranks. There was a rebellion from uh, prominent members of Congress, including John Boehner, who was then a, 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 an up-and-coming young congress, congressman from Ohio. Um, and there was basically a coup within, within the, the chamber uh, that led to the installation of a much, much more conservative uh, hardline regime, which now is in the business uh, uh, increasingly of, uh, this is a little, a little blunt, but not too blunt, selling its services to individual industries to do whatever it is that uh, that they want done in Washington. So, um, you know, very hostile on climate change, very hostile on financial regulation, very hostile on any efforts to contain health care costs. Um, so, and these are all cases we, we would argue where um, they may benefit businesses within those particular sectors, but they're quite damaging to American business as a whole, right? It is damaging to American business that we pay so much more for health care. Uh, than other countries do uh, without, as Jacob was saying, without producing good outcomes. Uh, so, and the chamber has been, again, a great enabler of um, these efforts by individual industries uh, to, as economists would say, essentially extract rents, right? You know, rather than um, competing based on producing great products at reasonable prices, essentially, in this case, rigging the system so that they can uh, they can benefit from the weakness of government, from the absence of effective regulation.